Do you want to get your apps on the big screen? Well, we've made it easier than ever before. I'm Wayne Pekarski, a developer advocate at Google, and today I'm going to tell you about the Newcast SDK version 3. In January 2013, we launched the Google Cast SDK to allow developers to extend their Android, Chrome, or iOS apps to the big screen in people's living rooms. Since then, we've learned a lot from our content partners and from third-party developers about what it takes to create great, cast-enabled apps. Based on that feedback, we've developed a new, simplified version 3 API for the Google Cast SDK. It simplifies several complex parts of the previous SDK and addresses the major pain points. This new SDK significantly reduces the amount of code needed to cast enable your app. It also provides a consistent API across Android and iOS, with Chrome following later. The new Cast SDK provides UI widgets that fully comply with the Cast UX design checklist. For example, this includes an introductory overlay to introduce users to the Cast button, and a cast button widget that automatically manages its visibility and state and provides all the necessary dialogues for users to select and disconnect devices. On Android, we show a cast notification with media controls when the user is casting content and lock screen controls to control media playback without unlocking your phone. There are also persisted controls for controlling the media playback while the user is browsing within your app and a full screen expanded control to show the media playback status there as well. Similarly, for the Cast Device UI, the new Cast SDK now provides reusable receiver widgets that comply with the Cast Design Checklist. These widgets can be used in your own custom receiver app so you can add custom business logic and support for your media's DRM. The new receiver SDK will be available soon. The new Cast SDK has a singleton context object to manage all the interactions with the API. And on Android, it eliminates the need to deal with Google API client. The new SDK now provides automatic device discovery so that you don't have to manage that in your code. The cast dialog supports audio devices, video devices, and device groups with no extra work. There is centralized cast session state management that makes it easy to launch your app on the cast device and start media playback. There's also an automatic reconnection service that handles network issues and automatically reconnects media sessions if you return to the living room. There's a media control object and associated listeners are provided to manage all the media playback. And finally, physical volume buttons are automatically handled as well. So the new Cast SDK enables developers to target all Cast devices, including Chromecast, Cast for Audio, Cast TV, and Android TV devices. This new SDK makes it faster and easier to develop a cast-enabled app. And as new cast features are added, your app will get these features automatically when you use version 3 widgets and code modules. So that's a quick tour of the great new features in the Google Cast SDK version 3. Make sure you check out our online resources and also join us on our Google Plus community to ask questions and share information. So that's it for now. I'm Wayne Pekarski, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.